Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Magia Record of Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica Gaiden, episode one. And I'm gonna set this reaction in. One, zero, go. And then flex. I always love the logo. Alright. See, I've been waiting for years for some Madoka material, animated material anyway. After Madoka Rebellion. Uh, let's see. What we're gonna get. So far, I like the art quality, it looks pretty good. Oh, the OST. Definitely gives me some nostalgia. Jumps. Hmm. I'm assuming by. <sighs> I'm assuming they're going to be referring to Cuba. When it comes to the one that grants wishes, you know that shit really does resemble Madoka with the just with a different looking hairstyle. I'm not going to explain all that for anyone, for anyone that hasn't seen the original Madoka Magica series, but are not in the, they don't know the ins and outs of Matcha Girls and all that. Hmm. Oh, that chick really looks like Homura. Ah, <laughs> oh, cat is really, really dang adorable. <laughs> yeah, I'd say in most cases of the wishes granted by the, the granted, at least in this series, usually don't end up well unless it's. <laughs> Those all sound like terrible wishes. <laughs> I'd say the only well done wishes in the series were. Mammy's wish, and say from the original series, and Madoka's wish, of course. And I guess you could argue Homer's wishes was pretty good too. Well, Kyoko and Saga got really screwed over by their own wishes. Hopefully, the girls in this series don't suffer anything. Similarly to the ones in the original Madoka series, I hope. But I don't know that I haven't played the smartphone game this is based off of, so. Hmm. wonder why the mother's drawn with like the. White eyes though, could she be like an abusive parent or something like that? Hmm. Could also be a ne neglectful parent too, because... Simon is also take that route. Oh, okay, Iro, Iro, huh? That's her name. I 
Okay, I guess my impressions were wrong. It seems like at the very least that Iroha's family seems relatively happy. Oh, that was really, really sweet. I'm really loving the selflessness factor we're getting from her. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I laugh, but at the same time, it doesn't seem so happy, but... Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that mother... Cube. Just looking at him. Fucking... Just looking at that... Cube just fucking... Incites anger in me. Yeah, that would be kind of off. Fighting without knowing what the purpose of what you're fighting for is. Hmm. <laughs> like how uh, they also have the energetic bubbly teacher too, just like in the original Madoka. <laughs> you must always have a bubbly energetic teacher. That chick kind of looks like... Hmm. Kind of looks like tan colored Sayaka. The one with blue hair. Dang, she's got the moves. She's considered being a gymnast. Provided she doesn't suffer injuries and all that. With that type of athletic movement. Jeez. Oh, yeah, the...
Shit. I'm not sure because if they can't get any more grease seeds, then eventually the... At least in the original Doku series, magic girls become witches. I don't know how... I don't know if it, the same rule is going to apply here in this series. Kamehameha City. Oh no, that sounds like hogwash to me. It just sounds like a fairy tale. To me. Yeah, it could be some kind of trap, too. Oh. Pretty sad. I mean, the circumstances that the wish didn't turn out that well. Honestly, the only shoe fire way of even properly utilizing the wish is just using it to like save your life. And you're like, if you're like in a life and death situation, it seems like. Okay, they, those people definitely look suspicious. When the... The transformation sequence looks pretty nice. And dang, the LSD sounds pretty lit. I'm gonna have to look up the composer of the music right after I finish reacting to this episode. Okay, so that's where we get at the start then with Kuroe and um, Ihara fighting the witch at the start of the episode. Ah, it's more like a an ocean than a labyrinth. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Silver gemstones, okay. Dang, I gotta say, I like the start so far. They're definitely doing a great job of emphasizing 
the enormous threat of which is right off the bat. Wait, did that witch just attack one of its own? Okay, what's with that chibi looking version of QB? What in the... Going by that person in the bed, did, you, did she use her wish to like, cure someone of a terminal illness then? Hmm. I'm gonna have to rewatch that later. This one. <laughs> it's got a cool looking final style, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. That was cool. Oh. Darn it, Korea! <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't incite any conflict. Okay, okay, I gotta get help defuse the situation. It's actually pretty sweet, though. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, that was the weird part, because at least in the original Madoka series, Cuba didn't really help anyone out in the in battle. So that was awfully really strange. I mean, I guess it makes sense. There's only so much grief seed supplies to go around.
I'm assuming this is probably going to be the ED, or is it a transitory sequence? Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, is that? No, no, that can't be Madoka. The one with like the pink hair like that, could it? Madoka Kaname, could it be? Nah, it's probably some other girl. Dang, that's a lot of different wishes. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt some reading all those. But in a way I like it though, at least you get to get a grasp of what people in the setting actually wish for. Oh, so it was to cure someone's So it was to cure someone's disease then. But I wonder who could you be? Could it be like one of her relatives or something? And then she's by herself, so I'm assuming maybe she did have a sibling, and maybe Ui's with her in the pictures, but since whatever wish she made, maybe she forgot about Ui, and maybe she's disappeared from the photos. Kind of reminds me a bit of Grandbone a little bit. Alright, I'm going to just enjoy the ED. And then I'll talk more about some of my thoughts about the episode once it finishes playing. Alright, I like the energetic vibes. The, I'm assuming this is probably going to be the OP because it definitely reminds me of... Let's see. Oh. So I'm assuming Blue Hair is going to become an ally to Iroha and Kure eventually then. Wait, is that Kyo? Yo! Okay, for a second I thought I imagined um, that I saw Kyoko in there. It's one of my faves. Her and Homura. <laughs> Alright. I like this OP. It looks pretty nice. And I'm assuming going by the constant in this opening, we're, we're probably gonna be there's gonna probably gonna be a reason why they go to Kamiha again. Yeah, they ain't being so about so about it. they're even going with the go to Kamiha, so they're something's gonna force their hand to be going there later on. Cause I've seen enough anime to kinda get to where this could be going. As for the episode itself, I thought it was actually pretty nice. I'm gonna rate this first episode, an 8 out of 10. Thought it was great. I like how it already starts out with the mystery angle because it makes you wonder what exactly is the background of of Iroha and all that kind of jazz. My theory is gonna be that here's what I think might have happened. Maybe Iroha made a wish to save Ui, whether, whether that's a friend or a relative. Might have made a wish. Maybe somehow that that person was cured. But maybe afterwards that person's existence might have been erased because cure could be interpreted as maybe going to heaven, passing away, or maybe going into the afterlife, or disappearing from existence completely. So maybe when she made the wish, Iroha, it was twisted completely. And that Ui chick was erased from reality. Kind of like in... Spoiler for any of y'all that haven't seen Granbelm, but in Granbelm, whenever certain people losing Granbelm, your existence is erased completely. So like that, 
I mean, that's my theory. My theory could be completely freaking wrong, though. I'd like to hear your guys' or gals' theory on theories on what you know has wish could have possibly been. But that's just my guess. At least anyone that's watched the anime only can guess. Anyone that's played the smartphone game, y'all probably know the answer. So, uh, just comment out your thoughts on how this worked as an adaption. And so not get any spoilers. Thought the episode was great out of 10, though. Episode for a variety of reasons. Visuals were great. Love the OST. I like the characters. Music was great, too. Overall, it was fun. Yeah. Just seeing um, more Madoka. More of the Madoka series is always nice. And I cannot wait for the second one. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment out your thoughts on how you feel about my reaction in the comments down below. Share the video if y'all want to.